gates, let your soul become a song. Open the gates, let your spirit be born again, and we'll walk in the light of God. And we'll walk in the light of God. There's a lot of a little while you'll see me, a little while you won't see me, and then you will see me, and then you won't see me. Is, what grade are you in? Fourth. Does anybody know what's going on in today's gospel? Hmm. Well, you'll find out in sixth grade when you study scripture. Yes, sir. Pardon me? A little bit louder. Okay. I, I just can't hear you. Sorry. There's, not, there's too much of an echo here. Okay. The scene. Jesus is at the Last Supper. What's going to happen in a few hours? Yes, sir. Pardon me? He'll be betrayed by Judas, and what will happen to him after the betrayal? Well, yes, dear. Pardon? He'll be crucified, yes. So, in a little while, you won't see me. But in a little while, you will see me. What is he talking about? He's going to come back. What do we call that? Yes, sir. No, no, that, oh, no, not yet, please. <laughs> yes. The resurrection. Hopefully the second coming is way, way off, long after I'm gone home to the Lord, okay? Good. All right. So that's what the gospel is about today. For a while you will, won't see me. For a while you will see me. And what, what happens when he dies? What happens to the disciples? What does it say that they do? Does anybody... The Gospels can be really, yes. Okay, what, I'm sorry. I, you know, there's a bad echo today. Oh yeah, they asked for his body, but what happens when somebody dies? Well, how do we feel? They were, yes, sad. They were sad. And he said, you're going to be very sad, but your sadness will turn to joy because what happens? The resurrection. The whole gospel message today is talking about the passion, death, and resurrection of our Lord. And because it's Easter season, we're celebrating that season where Jesus is risen from the dead. But what's going to happen Sunday? What are we going to celebrate Sunday? There's another one. All right. Yes, sir. The ascension. Yes. Oh, you did your homework. Yes. The ascension. And then we won't see him anymore. Hmm. When will we see him? Again. When will we see him again? Yes. Pardon me? I uh, pardon? On Christmas. Well, on Christmas. Yeah, well, that's a whole other story. Yes. In heaven. In heaven, right. So that's the whole idea. And between the time of the ascension and the time we meet him again in heaven, we are called to live the gospel. And that's what the whole idea about the Acts of the Apostles is about. Paul is preaching to a Gentile people and to Jewish people. And you know what? He's having a tough time. He's really frustrated. He said, you're not listening to me. Do you always listen? Oh, you do. I don't. <laughs> okay. But sometimes we don't listen. And what Jesus is saying, what the, God, what the Acts of the Apostles is saying, is that sometimes people just don't get it. But you know, God under Jesus understands that because learning about Jesus is a process. Do you know everything about Jesus? No. Do I know everything about Jesus? No. Am I going to, should I still be learning about Jesus? Yes. That's the whole idea. To remember, to celebrate the passion, death, and resurrection of our Lord until the time we meet him again, continue our lives learning everything we can about who Jesus is in my life, and then go out and live it. Because he asks us to do good things, doesn't he? That's what being a good Christian's about. Living the gospel, knowing that God is always walking with us. And even though the ascension takes place, we will see him again, especially when we encounter Jesus in the Eucharist. Remember, that's why the Eucharist is so important in our lives. 
that we receive the Eucharist often and worthily. Not easy, is it? But we can do it, can't we? Yes. Thank you for participating in this production of our virtual Mass. Your presence means so much. Every day, so many parishioners connect to OLPH through the digital ministry. The digital ministry is one of almost 80 ministries supported by the parish. That's why your support is crucial so we can continue to have the resources to fund all of our ministries that touch the lives of many. Thank you for watching, continue to watch, and thanks again for your support. Thank you.